Hey guys, Lessons with Lindy. I'm going to teach you how to play What About Us by Pink, so let's jump right into it. The original song, you actually have to play with a capo on fret 1. I am not going to teach it to you with a capo today, so we're just doing open tuning. If you want to play along with the song, smack that capo on there, otherwise it's your choice. So it's a three chord song. We're going to jazz, not jazz it up, but we're going to... We're gonna make it in interesting three chords. So let me run through the chords with you, then we're gonna break down exactly what's going on. The chords are pretty easy. It's an E minor. Every once in a while it's an E minor seven. We'll talk about that in just a second. First chord is E minor. Next chord is C add nine, which looks like this. That's the second chord. The third chord is your straight up open G, right there. Three chords in this whole song, E minor. C add 9, G. Okay, I've got a couple little finger picking patterns that I've applied to this song. And if you listen to the song, there's a cool key synth keyboard going on in the background, and I'm using that to kind of direct the picking pattern. So check this out, I'll play it, and then I'll break down exactly what's going on. jump right into it. So the E minor chord is not truly an E minor chord anymore. What's happening is we're adding a little melody line on the top of this chord because that's what the synthesizer is doing in the pink song. So it's based off an E minor chord, okay? So grab your E minor chord, which is fret two on the A string and fret two on the D string right there. Everything else is an open string. We are going to take the pinky you're going to throw it down on the 3rd fret of the high E string. This note, it's a G, you're going to play that note. So now we have this E minor chord with a G on the top, and that's the first melody note, is this G up here. By the way, the first two notes that I pick are the D string and the A, I'm sorry, the E string and the A string. So you're going to pick E, A, while you're holding that E minor chord. So we've got those two notes. We're going to come up top and we're going to start handling this melody because we've established the E minor chord down in the bottom. So the E minor chord's been established. Let's jump on into the melody. That's the little melody. So I already told you the first note. It's this G up here. You're going to play it twice. Then you're going to play open E. Then you're going to come down and you're going to play the third fret on the B string. That's the little melody. Third fret twice, open, third fret on the B. Not too hard, right? But don't worry, we're gonna add to it. So grab your E minor chord, and I want you to play those bottom two notes, which are gonna walk you up into the melody. So we're going super slow, and here's what we're gonna play. Open, um, open E to the A. that open string. There we go. Okay, if you want to go to level two, I'm throwing in some extra notes. We're still on the E minor. You're still grabbing this third fret up on the high E string. And with these two fingers right here, I want you to pluck the high E string and the B string. There it is. You've got that two string sound up top. You're gonna pluck that twice. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing as if you're playing the melody I just taught you. We're just adding in that B string. So you pluck this twice. Then you let go of that G note and you play open E and the open B string one time. Just like that. Here's where your switch is. You're gonna move these two fingers up play the B string and the G string at the same time. While you're playing those two notes, you also have grabbed the third fret on the B string. And now we're playing that little melody that Pink has in her synthesizer on that song. So there's really two ways to play this. The simple way is with one note, or you can add that second string in there. Just like that. So the next chord is the same exact idea. We're going to establish the chord 
and then we're going to play a melody on top of the chord. So the second chord is your C add 9 chord. You're going to grab these two strings, which are the A string and the D string. You've established your chord, now we're going to go play some melody stuff. This one's actually pretty easy, it's easier than the other one. So it's all on the B string. You're going to play 3rd fret twice, come down to the 1st fret, open. That's it. If you want to make it sound extra cool, I throw in the G string and all that stuff. Um, the next chord you're going to play is the G chord. Pretty simple, you guys know your G chord. Except I'm going to change the way you play it just a little bit. You're probably used to playing it this way. I'm going to have you bump your finger, you're going to bump your pointer finger off, and you're going to put these other two fingers there. So your ring finger is going to play the third fret on the E string, your middle finger is going to play the second fret on the A string. The reason is we're about to do some moving melody lines with our pointer finger, and I need you to have your pointer finger available to do the movement. So now that you're holding down the G chord this way, you're going to play those bottom two strings to establish that G chord. Play the E string and the A string. There it is, chord's been established. Now we're gonna come up here to the B string. That's the little melody line. You're playing the first fret on the B string two times. Then you let it go, play open B. Then you move to the G string and you play open G. Just like that. Okay, if you wanna spice it up, we can throw in an open string on this one too. So the open strings that I'm putting on this are that right there is the B string on the first fret and an open G string. Play that combination twice. Then your pointer finger is going to lift up and you're actually going to play the same exact string set, G and B. There it is. Then to finish it off, you're just going to move your fingers up one set of strings and you're going to play the G and the D string. There it is. want to do a simple melody, you can just handle the one line melody too. Or if you just want to play open chords, you guys, you can just play E minor, C add 9, and G. All good. Let's talk about the rhythm on this, because we have a really interesting rhythm happening. So there's two parts to this rhythm that I want to show you. The first part is what makes this rhythm so complicated, and the first part is three quarter note triplets. Um, triplets are really interesting and I really like playing triplets. I'm not going to get into what that means right now. I know a lot of you out there have really strong ears so you hear what this sounds like. If you guys want a whole lesson on how to play triplets we can do that but I'm going to do that in another lesson if I get enough requests. So just listen to what I'm playing. Check it out. My teachers taught me triplets by saying the word evenly. Maybe you guys know this trick. One, two, three, four. Evenly. So you're just you're not following the four pattern anymore. Again, we can get more in depth on this on another lesson. So if triplets are new to you, if you've never played them before, if you're having trouble with it, totally get it, it's fine. Here's another way to play the song, um, just another interpretation. These are two eighth notes in the beginning. It sounds like this. to play if you haven't had a lot of experience with triplets. So the choice is really up to you. I like this song because there's a lot of variations you can do. Here's just some other fun stuff you guys can do. Every once in a while I'll play around and I'll throw a suspended G chord in there instead of a regular G chord. And that's fun. It sounds like this. It's just a little taste thing you can do to, to make it spice it up. So in this case, a suspended G chord is that. So the easiest way to play it is going to be this way. Um, you've got your G chord set up this way. I want you to take your pinky and throw your pinky down on the third fret of the A string. That's a G suspended chord. The important thing is you have to resolve it on the second time you play this G chord. So the first time is G suspended. Oops. Solve it, so lift up your pinky. Just another 
fun spice thing to throw in there if you want to. The chorus goes like this. So, <laughs> again, you can play this just straight E minor, C add 9, G. Or, if you want to, you can throw in some of the melody, which is what I like to do. So, when I play the first chord of this, this is actually kind of an advanced fun thing that'll make your playing a little more exciting. Check this out. There's a lot of things going on in there. I'm grabbing my E minor chord. The first... The first bunch of eighth notes, I think it's four eighth notes, I play on the low, I try to play them on the low three strings. And I'm doing that so you can audibly separate the chord from the melody that we're about to play. I'm actually pushing them apart. So I'm not strumming all six strings, I'm just strumming these top three. And then I switch to the melody. So when I do that, my hand's going to drop down to the, I mean, the high three strings. And when I say high, I'm talking about pitch, not high away from the floor. The high three strings, I know it's weird. And then I kind of move my hand down there. So, it's the same thing, you guys. You're just playing the melody on a strumming chord. That's it. Instead of picking, now we're strumming. So... And you can really hear when I switch and move my hand to only strum those top three strings. Now, when I say only, like every once in a while, I'll kind of miss and I'll play the low A string and stuff, and that's, that's not a big deal. Just kind of in my mind, I move my hand a little bit lower on the guitar to try to get those top three strings in there. And it's nice, you start isolating the chord from the melody. Just like that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any other requests, let me know.